Man has always been fascinated by the elements of nature – air, water, fire and earth. Mythical gods of wind, sea, hell and earth. Humans have historically stood in the awe of the forces of nature, and sometimes even called on them as deities. So there stems a psychological fascination in controlling these elements owing to our innate curiosity. As 3D artists, we have ultimate control, and we can use that control to our advantage and add elements wherever we can, be it smoke, water, fire. Whenever you add elements to your scene, the market value of your render skyrockets. It's practically guaranteed. Whenever you see smoke sims, fluid sims, pyro sims, cloth sims, even rigid body sims, you can't just help but take a second and look on the intricacies of the dynamics of that simulation. You feel power controlling that. Let's jump into our project file and see how we've incorporated elements over there. Here we've used smoke and clouds. The smoke element is a VDB, which we'll go into a bit later, and the clouds I've made using metaballs. So you add a metaball, duplicate them to make them into sort of a cloud shape, and then just convert it into volume. You can virtually convert anything into a volume this way. Maybe convert everything into a volume. I leave it up to you to experiment. When you go a mile further with your ideas, it really does show up. Good thing is that you don't always need to learn complex and resource intensive simulations. I'm going to tell you two good things in this regard. One is VDBs. VDBs are essentially pre-baked simulations stored in a three-dimensional volumetric data which can be generated by any 3D software and then exported as a universally importable format. Since it's pre-simulated, you can use it as such, have a library of them and use them whenever and wherever you like. So you can have a simulation made in Houdini and then use the same simulation in Blender. Which brings me to the second part that I have to tell you. Ambigen. You can run real-time smoke simulation in Ambigen and even render them out at lighting fast speeds. Simulations in the usual DCC softwares like Blender can be a bit daunting, difficult to set up and frankly painful. But having them run real-time with collisions is just on another level. It's a great piece of software and it just feels like magic. It is node-based, but don't worry about the nodes, you will easily get the hang of it. You can render the real-time sim from within the Ambigen, or you can have the sim exported as VDB. You can then shade and render in Blender for accurate ray-traced rendering in cycles. I've linked a free VDB library down below, which is in fact generated by Ambigen. All the major 3D software support VDB imports. You can then turn that data into thick smoke or thin mist, and even add in fire shader by manipulating the volume shader. Especially in product rendering, using elements can up your game quite a lot, which adds character to the model and overall look of the render. VDBs can be both static or animated. If you're making an animation, you can use the animated VDBs, but keep in mind that they use a lot of hard drive space, so I would suggest that you do not keep them on your hard drive unless you have a separate hard drive for the assets. Alright, I hope it gets you as excited for using elements as it does to me. This rounds up this chapter, I'll see you soon in the next one. Farewell.